In this video, we will be reviewing how to write a recursive and an explicit equation for an arithmetic function. An arithmetic function is one that is described as having a constant difference. That means it's always increasing by the same number each time. To do this, we're going to make a table to the right hand side, and we're going to look at how the changes are occurring in the f of x terms. To go from 13 to 18, we see that we're increasing by 5. To go from 18 to 23, also increasing by 5. To go from 23 to 28, it's increasing by 5. And so is it from 28 to 33. That 5 is what we refer to as the constant difference. This function is said to have a constant difference of 5. If the f of x values are decreasing, then we have to use a negative sign, in which case we're adding a negative number. To write the recursive rule, we start by defining the beginning term. In this case, our table began when x was 3, so we would say f of 3 equals 13. The rest of the recursive rule talks about how any term, we'll call that f of x, relates to the previous term, which we'll call f of x minus 1. In this case, we see that we have a first difference of 5, so after that f of x minus 1, we put plus 5. And that is the recursive rule. Any term is the previous plus 5. To do the explicit rule, we again take a look at the table, and to find any term, we'll call that again f of x, we see that the table began with the first f of x being 13, and we saw that we were adding 5, so we'll put plus 5. However, we didn't start adding 5s until after x was 3. We did it on when x was 4, 5, 6, and 7. So the way that we show that we're doing it after the third term is quantity x minus 3. If it was after the first term, we'd put x minus 1. If it's after the zeroth term, we just say x. Now we can use that explicit um, rule to help us find the 14th term, which, which is what it's asking for down below. The nice thing about the explicit rule is you don't need to know the previous number to be able to do this. If I want to find out what the 14th term is, I simply substitute 14 for x. And then we see what we get. f of 14 equals 13 plus 5. Now, a 14 minus 3 is really on 11. Five times 11 is 55. And then lastly, we add those together. 13 plus 5, 55, is 68, which tells me the 14th term would be 68. Again, the explicit equation is nice for this because I didn't need to know the 13th, the 12th, the 11th, and so on. All I needed to do was substitute that number in and find what that 14th term would be. Thank you for watching.